Hello everybody and welcome back to XCOM HQ. <sighs> Hopefully this one will actually be entertaining enough for me to put it up on YouTube. But let me start off by editing our new assault soldier. Uh, this is the guy, this is the one we've just got. He's an assault and he's already a sergeant. So he's got running gun. It's all good. Uh, aggression, 10% uh, critical chance per enemy in sight, or we can have a 5% defense per enemy in sight. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, we want him to survive, really. So the plus five to defense might be a little bit, little bit more. Uh, but then if he can kill things, but then if they're inside, okay, defense. Going with defense. Lightning reflexes. Poses the first reaction shots against the units to each turn's miss, or close to personal plus thirty percent critical chance against adjacent targets. The bonus declines with distance from the target. I like the lightning reflexes. It means you are able to move around your trooper a lot easier. So I think I'm going to give him that one. Yep, yep, yep. You don't have to worry so much about moving them out around so much. Uh, Twitch is this guy's nickname. And we should customize him so he's got the same colors as everyone else. I do think we need to sort out this color situation. I uh, don't know what color we want the squad to be. But there are a lot of them. <laughs> Should we go with pink? Only real men wear pink. Oh, good lord. There's some terrible colours in here. Oh, yes. That is what we need. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Oh, god. I think, to be honest with you, I would be quite happy to go with, like, white. I think white for the team might be the best one. And then red for the, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm okay doing that. We'll sort that out when it comes to getting into the mission. Right, so, training school. We can now get two things. Okay, we can get plus 25 experience gained from kills. And we can increase the size of the squad. I most certainly want to do that. So let's buy that one. And we've only got 125 of the game credits. Uh, let's hold on to that for a second because we've I'm assembled everything we need to capture and house an alien for interrogation. Yes, I know. The rest is up to our forces on the ground. I know. Right. Okay. So I'm just gonna kill some time. Hopefully we won't get a mission straight away. Because uh, I'm waiting for these weapon fragments. There we go. There we go. Sign new research. Okay, scope available for manufacture, which is very good for our snipers. As you would imagine. Um, experimental warfare beam weapons. This is very nice. UFO. Uh, I don't know what to do next. This is always the stressful one. <laughs> See, I do want them to have good defense, but then we need to get some of the autopsies done as well. But then I want beam weapons, but that's 24 days. Let's just get the autopsy done for the sectoid, and then the alien materials, then maybe we'll consider something else. <laughs> We've made a number of interesting discoveries based on the autopsy results of the alien specimen you brought back. The research team is now referring to this particular variation as a sectoid, based on the unusual structure of its internal organs, which we believe to be the product of genetic manipulation. As we've seen in the field, this species also seems to harbor some sort of telepathic ability. So there you go. And you do normally get 
extra things you can research due to these. Now, I don't think I've got anything extra I can buy yet, apart from the scope. Okay, so let's manufacture one of them. I have that, please. Thank you. And satellite might be a good idea. I don't know if we can handle any more satellites at the moment, though. It should tell you if you try and buy it, so let's try and buy it. Yep. Our current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. How much is it to buy the access lift? It's 50 credits. Ooh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Oh, oh. Uh, how much would the satellite uplink cost? 150. That would be all our credits gone, though. Hmm, it would use five power, which is all right. We can we can afford five power. Really, we really want that money, don't we? Let's do it. Let us begin construction. Okay. Now, three days till council reports, and we get some more money then. Anyway, so that should be good. Let's go. Incoming transmission. Here we go. First council report. God, I'm stressed. We are extremely ah. impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. I got an A! The recent results were beyond our expectations. And that is not a statement this council makes lightly. Thanks, guy. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. We need to help Australia out, though. Australia are not doing good. Okay. <clears throat> oh dear. But, apart from that, we've done a council mission. We've got the UFO abduction stop two, satellites launch one, research projects complete three, UFOs raided one. Okay. Remember, yeah, we've got a good start. We will be watching. Remember, you will be watching. Okay, so we've got a bit more money now. Let's... The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. Let's always glad to have more help build a satellite. And yes, I know you can't do it at the minute, but you will be able to do it soon. Okay, so we've got the satellite on the go. It's 20 days. If the aliens were intent on conquering Earth, there's not much we could do to stop them. I'm guessing they have something else in mind. There you go. He thinks they've got something else in mind. Let's get the 20, uh, plus 25 percent to our XP and get these guys up a little bit quicker. We've only got 191 left. So, it's again, let's scan for activity. Yeah. Okay, so the research is complete on the autopsy. Load the text. Read it in your own time. <laughs> we can have uplink targeting aim available, and that's for the ship to ship combat. So when you get a UFO, that's what you use that for. Uh, do you need to research? Uh, do you need to research it, or is it just build it? And each time you use it, it goes straight away afterwards, which is a bit of a pain in the backside. But, unless... Should we do the alien... Let's get the beam weapons. I want I some beam weapons. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Okay. So, now we're training for beam weapons. Oh, researching. Uh-oh. Uh We've got another contact. The signature UFO. is a little bigger this time though. Oh no, it's bigger. We're not going to be able to do it. No interceptors in range! Crap! Uh, go back. Uh, hangar. View ship list. Can we transfer? Here, you can arrange to have our interceptors transferred to bases throughout the world. Oh, By stationing our fleet on Europe. various continents, we'll have a much better chance of intercepting new UFO contacts in those areas. Okay. So he's en route to Europe. There's not much I can do apart from that. 
I should have done that earlier. We haven't scrambled our fighters to intercept the latest UFO contact. Let's hope it doesn't do any serious damage. There's so much going on. But Matt Thomas has returned to active duty. Which is good. Let's view the abduction site. We have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the globe. Really? We need to go help out France. I could do with something more than just money. But that that's all we that's all we can really handle. We need we need to sort out France before they start panicking too much. Okay. <laughs> Let's set up the squad. <laughs> okay. Right. So let's get rid of Thompson. Wait, where is Kazimori? No, not Kazimori. She's still wounded for three days. So I suppose we'll be taking Corey with us. All right, we want to bring our new assault guy. That is most assuredly going to happen. Let's swap out him for just a normal red coat. Johansson, you are coming with us. And you need to put on your red outfit, mate. Five, six. There we go. It's cool. Uh, we need to get you in white. Let's get you in white. It's five, isn't it? Four, five. Yep. Okay. And I'm going to leave Thompson in red. <laughs> Gonzalez, he did prove himself pretty well. But he's still, he's been on three missions, got one kill. I suppose, okay, I'm, I'll promote you. But don't tell all the other guys. You're no longer a red coat. Good lad. Okay. With that, we need to move on to the mission. We're off to France. And I need to take a loadout. Uh, I take an arc for it. And I forgot to put my scope on. Right, no, edit. And you, my friend, take a scope with you. Should. I'm gonna give this guy here, Johansson, he can take a. Arc thrower with him as well. I think this is good. We're starting to get a bit more, you know, a bit, a bit more tailored towards the way we want them, which is good. All right, guys. I'm gonna leave the HQ here. Um, I don't think an awful lot happened, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. It's all, it's all informative. I may just have to start doing these, and then. You know, if nothing happens as well. Because it's all informative as to what I'm doing. So guys. With that, I will see you in the mission. See you there.